This is a bench press. What do you do with that? You gonna spot me? Or I can hold your waist. Chris, are you the coach? What's going on here? If you land this, I'll give you my YouTube channel, bro. What's going on everybody? Jesse James West here. Hope you're ready for an amazing video. Today we're linking up with Chris Haria and we're heading over to his office. We're gonna be filming a video for his channel, my channel. Maybe we'll even do a little bit of a challenge later where things are gonna get spicy, let's just say. And uh, of course we're gonna knock a killer workout with the man. I'm excited. Hey, subscribe. It's good for your new year. I love you. Is here, up, my Blake dog. Boy. What up, baby? Damn, Good to boy, see you. Maple syrup. I got my maple syrup. Listen, I'm here for a reason. All right, I'm here to win. This. What What's are up, we brother? doing today? Yo, I hope you're ready for a challenge, man. Workout challenge. challenge? No, yeah, deadlifts. Deadlift challenge. Oh, we're doing deadlifts. Yeah. I did that actually at the beach. We're gonna be deadlifting girls today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's always freaking bursting my bubble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Actually, I hope you're hungry because we're gonna be having a cook off. Okay. Can you okay. cook? I'm a decent cook. I mean, it's a good thing I have my syrup. There you Make go. Some French you're toast. already ready. You All see right, what perfect, we got? Man. Are All you right. a good cook? Yeah, I suck. So that should be good. Yeah, I have a chance to win. <laughs> I can win, possibly. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna run. Though. Let's see, man. Hopefully, you know, I got I chef it up and give you something good. All right. We'll have to see. If you guys want to see the cook-off down below, click that link and check out Chris's channel. It's me, a banger, and subscribe to him. Let's yeah, go. Boy. Let's go. Let's cook. Here's the deal. If I do a tray flip right now, first try, million dollars. I, all right, I was gonna say I win the cook off, but I'll take a million bucks. A million bucks, bro. But if I miss, <laughs> two mil. Oh, God, I'm so close. I'm so close. I know. I don't count. If you land this, I'll give you my YouTube channel, bro. You all listen, boys. We just hit a mil, and now we're about to hit three, what, three point something? I'll give you the TEDx <laughs> one. <laughs> like seven mil and something. Oh, shit. If you lose, though, you gotta give me your channel. All right, all right, that's a proper deal. Oh! Woo! Your YouTube channel. All right, baby. What should I do with that channel now, man? <laughs> I'm gonna make it into whatever like, you want. Make it into a comedy channel. <laughs> all right, if I land this, we just go jet ski. Deal. I hope you land it then. Me too. <laughs> oh! oh! That's, looks like we're gonna cook. It's time to cook. Clearly, we're not skateboarders. <laughs> Yeah! Dreams, they happen, man. They happen. I'm so happy I finally got it on a YouTube video. Yeah, I well, always I, get so close. I wasn't rolling. I no. swear to <laughs> you, don't get fired. Since I landed the tray flip, you guys can hit that subscribe button. I think that's fair. Road to two mil, okay? and we wrapped up the cooking competition. I'm full on stuffed. Everything was amazing. If you want to see who wins, go to Chris's channel. But for now, are we gonna are we continuing on? Are we are we going to train? No, let's get a workout. We gotta we gotta train this off. Yeah, we gotta train off this asparagus. All right, before we go farther in today's video, I want to thank Young LA because we got a brand new drop, baby. Let's go. Okay, code Jesse, code single mom, fifteen percent off. We got brand new teddy bear. These damn hoodies, man. There is nothing that beats this. These are gonna sell out really, really fast, so do not miss out on them. We then have brand new track suits. These are really dope. These are actually like a little bit of weight to them, really high quality. We have some raised rubber lettering right there, as it says, Young LA along the pocket and also right along the chest. These are super nice. You can pair them together and look like a sexy soccer dad on the sideline with the girls. We got gray, green, a blue, and also a black. And then lastly, super simple, we got some long sleeve. Tees, these are cotton tees, really, really nice material. We got the tans, we got the olives, the black and the red. Boys, code Jesse, code single mom, 15% off. This is the nicest stuff that they've dropped in a while. First drop of the year, let's set the tone and show them who's boss. Code Jesse, code single mom, support your boy. Send me your orders on Instagram so I can DM you back. I always make sure I message you guys as much as I can. I love you guys. Let's get back into this. It is time to turn Chris Haria, the calisthenics expert, into the next greatest Mr. Olympia bodybuilder. So I'm gonna be teaching him quite a lot. That was a pretty good pose. Really? We're gonna do some posing I after. I do it on Instagram like that. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 
So we're gonna start off nice and easy. Okay, we're gonna be doing uh, a PR of every single workout PR. in the gym. PR. I'm kidding. You might, you might get some PR. Personal record. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something funny. My bad. Oh, I, I, I got nothing. All right, let's dive into the first exercise. It's time to get juicy, and uh, we're gonna start off with some nice chesticles. You ready? Now, Chris. Yes, sir. This is a bench press. What do you do with that? So you you uh, grow your chest. No, you don't do push-ups, you don't do handstands, you don't do cal any calisthenics. You see us bodybuilders, we take our time, we, we hit 10 reps and then we get a pump and that's it. And then what do you do after the 10 reps? You do 10 more? Is that like... No, you just you just, you just just chill for like 60 seconds. You listen so it's to more of like we're just like chilling and talking and just hanging out. <sighs> the bodybuilding community is not gonna like that. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the incline bench press. You're gonna unrack it. You're gonna keep your shoulder blades retracted. Bring it down slowly, like this. You don't want your elbows out, you don't want your elbows in. You want it just nice and straight. And you're gonna drive up and squeeze the muscle. It's really simple. I'm gonna add 135. I'll show you how to do it properly. Like I'll do a full set. And then you can hop in and out bench. Hop me. on, let's yeah. get it. Let's do it. Would you rather question? Would you rather have a mullet haircut or a ponytail? This is gonna be <laughs> you're gonna drop the bar on your neck. I've actually had a ponytail before. I don't think now, I'm gonna have a wear mullet it. ponytail is kinda weird, but I had long hair before, so but a mullet, that's just like two haircuts at the same time. <laughs> I can see him with a mullet. What about you, bro? I I I think I'd rather have a mullet. You kinda like have one. So mullet? You, no, I'm just kidding. What the f Chris? Oh, would you rather always have bad gas or always have really dry mouth? It's kind of weird, but... Oh, dry mouth is brutal because then anytime you talk to someone, you won't, like, I, like I can't kiss my girlfriend. I'm right, gonna put this back. I think, I think I'd rather pass gas. I don't know, man. That's a really tough question. Yeah, for real. But if you're always, like, farting, like, oh, that's a couple for everyone. Yeah, no, you're screwed. You're never getting a girl. <laughs> right, we're doing it. We're gonna take the dry mouth. All right. Would you rather go without shampoo for the rest of your life or toothpaste for the rest of your life? That's I can do without shampoo. Yeah, easy. 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 Dude, look at these locks. Do you think I shampoo these all the time? No, I wash my hair like once a week. He's like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't bench press I'm like that dead, much. Dude. Doing 225 after a full day of shooting videos and stuff. I got a good coach. Hey, he's picking up on this bodybuilding stuff, man. Like, what's considered like a good amount of weight for somebody that's been bodybuilding, like for this exercise? 100% what you were doing with the 225. I think. I, no, for real, for real. Like, I guess. Like, me up, bro. like if you can do 225 for like a solid 10, like you're an elite lifter in my opinion. There you guys go. So if you can do 10. You're an elite lifter in Jess's opinion. It starts off for the ladies, and in particular, my lady. All right. Always committed. The next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing a side raise. And the reason we're doing these is because we're gonna pre-exhaust our shoulders. We're gonna do about 15 reps like this, keeping your shoulders relaxed. So what we wanna do is keep in lead with your elbows, with the tension, and you wanna almost pour a glass of water at the time. I like to get a little bit of a momentum going. The biggest mistake people make is they activate their traps and they come up like this because when it gets hard, that's gonna help. So just stay relaxed, slightly in forward, bam. Tarps are off. Just, just um, freaking shred it. Censor my nipples, bro, please. No nips? Can I have some sensors on my nips too? I don't wanna demonetize this whole, this whole video. <laughs> you got me? Got you. You gonna spot me? I'm gonna spot, I, I really, I was gonna for the video. So like, at, when, once you do like 10 or 12, someone can come in okay. and then they lift a little bit for oh, you and really then you do spot and then boom. Okay. Or I can hold your waist, whatever you want. Don't no, no spot me for real, bro. We're not trying to make this you know, sexual, this professional. You're right, right. All right, all right, cool. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> What do you prefer? Something more like isometric or a compound like the bench? If I'm gonna do isometrics or a compound? Yeah, like what did you like better? Sure. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, if I'm gonna get a good pump. He wants it all. So we're actually gonna be going back to compound movements now. 
We just exhausted the side delt, and we're gonna be doing a Arnold press. I'll teach you. Let's go. Would you rather have a pet tiger or a pet lion? Ooh, probably a tiger because they're like a little more exotic. I think the stripes would get me. I think that's a lion. It can like you could be, imagine training a lion to be like attack. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, but a tiger is like they could do that too. Yeah, they could do the same thing, but they just look cooler doing it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so we're doing the Arnold press. Chris, are you the coach? What's going on here? Get back. All right, so we're gonna be doing the Arnold press. This is from the man. <laughs> he literally just said we're gonna be doing the Arnold press. It's from the man, the myth, the legend, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Did so, you teach him how to do it too? I did. I went back in time and actually taught him. I have a time machine. So you're going to come up. I know you've done this. Learn it from the source. Yes. And you're going to come up, twist, point to the sky. As you come down, you're going to stop right here. Keep the tension. Boom. In. Out. Up. You know what Arnold says? Yeah, that was one. I'm only going to do one. Oh. Okay. I only need one to look this good. <laughs> so Arnold said about, about working out. He said that it actually is the same as coming. A pump what? is the same as coming. <laughs> Going where? <laughs> Chris. All right, so these look kind of heavy. Dude. Like, I think, judging by your 225 bench press, I think you got this. I really do believe in you. I'm just good at bench. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just good at bench. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All right. you, can do, you can do a lot of handstands. There's no way you can't do this. Bam. So come down. Bam. In. Bam. Out. Bam. Up. Bam. Yeah. See, this guy is literally a natural when it comes to bodybuilding. Clearly, calisthenics are going to transfer over into any other type of training. That's so slow. There you go. Yeah, see, so you're picking up on the movements. You go slow and you squeeze. Squeeze. Yes. Squeeze. Squeeze. All right, Chris, hit me with the questions. All right. Whoa. This, is, this, one's, this one's wild. This one's wild? I'm down for a wild ride. ride. This one might be almost triple X, but would you rather get your wisdom teeth pulled? Okay. Or your glutes, cheeks pierced. I don't know if it's pierced together or just put on both sides. I'm gonna say butt cheeks pierced because I've had my wisdom teeth pulled. It's like the worst. And it was a horrible recovery. One of my I'm stitches like, broke. So it like uh, this like pocket of like blood would be like I'd work out and I feel pressure coming up and I'm like, yo, so I had to work out so like calm. So soft. So soft. Yeah, I think I think we gotta go get an appointment and go get a butt cheeks pierced. Yeah. Tats together. <laughs> yeah. Next up we get a butt cheeks pierced, guys. That is sus. No, I'm not. <laughs> we are not. Absolutely not. I'll support you though. Alright, what's next? <laughs> Montage. <laughs> Ejercicio, that's exercise in Spanish. Listen, I cheated in Spanish too, okay? Claro, claro. I don't know, I have no idea what that means because I cheated in Spanish. We're gonna be doing incline curls. Now, Chris, these are a little different than just your traditional curls. You're gonna be back, it's gonna stretch the bicep a little bit more. And when you come up, you're gonna get that good twist. Like usual, pinky up to the sky, come down slow, and you're gonna feel a really good stretch. So we're gonna go for about four sets. I like to do a nice slow 15. <sighs> Would you rather be trapped in a romantic comedy with your enemies or trapped in a horror movie with your friends? I'm not gonna lie, I think a horror movie with my friends would Easy. be extremely fun. Easy. I know it's like you're running from your life, but I just feel like the homies got your back and then you just like had that story arc of yep. like defeating the horror guy, exactly. you know? You're getting the pump, look at that. That's. Didn't that work. He's gotta wipe. <laughs> gotta wipe that down. Who the hell left their mark? Yo, cause that wasn't even like, like. Clear. It had like, it was like Stop! Stop! <laughs> what was in the sun? You want me to yeah. turn it, right? You want to do it all one time as you're coming up, you're twisting. Boom. Mm -hmm. Pinky up to the sky. Perfect. <laughs> no? I was a bit literal. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? From this angle, <laughs> it just looks <laughs> Last exercise of the day is going to be a tricep exercise. We're going to be doing an overhead French press single arm. That's the proper name, did you know that? Nope. It's also for French toast. Oh. French toast? You like French toast? Yeah. 
It's like that's why I heard, I heard that's something that you make really well. I, I am actually the king of French fries. I actually spice. saw you bring some like maple syrup. I literally brought it to cook with because I thought we were gonna pick what we cook, and then he pulls a reverse Uno card on me, and he's like, "By the way, this wheel is gonna yeah, decide." Yeah, pull a fast one on me. Just cook whatever you want on my vlog. I was gonna win. So you want to make sure you're letting your long head work, and you're gonna try to keep your elbow stationary and go all the way up and squeeze. Because if if you bring your elbow in, it's gonna get easier, and then if you bring it out, you're just gonna be doing a shoulder thrust. So you want to just keep it right there. Squeeze. Squeeze. We're going for 10 reps. Off rip. <sighs> what got you into working out? Like, what was the main reason why you wanted to start working out? So I started working out because I was 15 years old. Okay. My coach came up to me and was like, hey, you're getting thrown around. Mm -hmm. You have the skill. Like, you're obviously really good, mm -hmm. but you're not big enough yet in order to play with, like, the varsity team. So I took that, like, super personal, and I was like, through that, I know I'm good enough. So I literally remember that day I went to the gym, like right after lacrosse practice, and it was like two hours just going. So over time, just put on that muscle and it paid off over, like immensely. Obviously it transformed my body. And one thing that it really transformed was the mindset of being able to do something only 1% better every day adds up. A lot of people aren't able to like understand that, you know? <laughs> So he's all posed out. Posing takes a lot out of you. Bodybuilding is totally different. How do you feel? Oh, I love it, man. I had a great time. Follow and subscribe to Chris down below. Love subscribe to me, man. We're on the subscribe road. To, we're just on the road. Like always. We're on the road, baby. Let's do it. Let's man. go. Hey, make sure you guys don't forget to stay relentless. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> he felt my presence. He's like, now he's scared to like spot. He's like, I'm like. He's like, in that case, you good? <laughs>